What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, look at that. Look at the number of dads. How many dads do we have? <clears throat> You'll have to excuse the raspy voice. I have been recovering from a pretty gnarly cough. So my voice is kind of shot. And if my voice completely goes tonight, then I'm going to have to uh, end the stream. <clears throat> Who knows what's going to happen. I have some hydration coming down my way, but we'll see what happens. <clears throat> what's good, deck daddies? Man, it's been quite a day. Does having a pregnant wife count? This is number one. Oh, dude, welcome to the party, baby. Welcome to the party. The Dads is the name of the channel memberships. So I'm trying to get to 100 channel members. <clears throat> so that I don't know if it works, though. Congrats, though, Jordan. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the war. <laughs> the war for your attention. Yeah, Jordan, it's awesome, man. I will admit today with the kiddos was really tough for me. They were just there were a lot of work today. I mean, they're a lot of work all the time, but we're having a girl due in July. Oh, right on, dude. Sea of Stars in the thumbnail. Is it any good? It is very good. Sea of Stars is very good. Very, very good. Oh, man. Does dreaming of having a wife and kids count? <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that, dude. Did I get sunburnt today? I think I did. Congrats, Jordan. Hey, what's up, Brock? What's up, everybody? Welcome in. Welcome in. <clears throat> How we doing this evening? I'm kind of into just this chill mode today. Kind of in this like relaxing mood. Hopefully you guys are cool with it. I need it. It's been it's been kind of a tough day with the kids. They've been a little bit more unwieldy than usual. So I needed to be like, I'm just going to take it easy tonight. Play some Sea of Stars. Get some ad revenue, you know, drink some green tea. Hopefully it heals me. been in the been in the fight you know i'll check that game out soon thanks man hot tea and honey uh no nah, it's cold right now i should have done hot tea i don't know what i'm thinking well it's been so hot here it's been like we had this like really gnarly heat wave <clears throat> and so the thought of something hot just doesn't sound good but maybe i need hot tea Maybe I need some like hot tea with lemon and honey or just hot water with lemon and honey. I might do that. I might do that in a little bit. <laughs> Except rebirth modern games this year have been pretty disappointing, dude. I would argue that rebirth isn't even a modern game. Sure. There's modern elements of it, but it's a remake with the exception. I haven't finished it yet. So don't say anything, but like, Fire up the kettle. Say less. You got to get the merch, guys. The merch is only available until the end of... April. This Toriyama tea. The Toriyama tea is only available till the end of April. Showing skin. <laughs> What's I know, dude. I usually don't wear shorts. <clears throat> this isn't Twitch. You're funny, dude. That's good, Ryan. Yeah, I'm usually not in shorts. I'm usually in like pants but it's hot gotta show off my dude i'm so 
achy from today. I did uh, deadlifts today, and my hips are just freaking on fire. Busting out the 70s shorts. Yeah, dude. Shorties, baby. Look at that. Looking good? Yeah? I got some I got some good legs for a for a dad. You know? I got some okay legs. Papa's been deadlifting and squatting for the past 10 years. I got some okay legs. I got no arms. Tiny little itty bitty arms. But I got some okay legs. <clears throat> Later row row row. I prefer jorts with the pockets that hang oh, dude. <laughs> I have pre-order going for a physical CS star squish that should be here next month. Looking forward to it. <laughs> That's rad, man. I'm kind of tempted to pick it up, but I just have it on. Uh, I have it on PlayStation for free because it was a it was a part of the whatever I have. And I purchased it on Steam so I can play it on the Steam Deck. And that's been great. Just wanted to say that I love the content you make and I hope you continue. I'm from Portugal. I've been watching yours for years, so love it. Thank you. Uh, is it Joao? What up, Dad? What's up, Louis? God bless this channel. God bless all the dads and moms and kids. Thanks, dude. I've, uh, that's a great look. They have to be acid washed. Oh, dude, dude, acid wash too. That's that's good. Joao, I try, man. I try, <clears throat> dude. I've been noticing, like playing games, I personally i don't find myself gravitating towards the newer things right like for instance i have been playing sea of stars which is technically a new game but like it's older style um hell divers 2 i guess is new too but like i was watching <laughs> i was watching a video talking about this very thing and it like it was really interesting to me because i'm like oh man it all kind of adds up when it comes to like games as we see we see a lot of live service games and so people are just not they're like have this like fomo effect this was what i learned from the video and i thought this was so fascinating they have this fomo effect that they want to be a part of the live service because if they fall behind on the live service game they're not going to have the skins they're not going to have the extra stuff they're not going to have the different things like that and so then at that point you find yourself like oh i don't want to like miss out on all of these exclusive capes and hell divers or all this stuff. so you just play and invest in these games that end up lasting for a really long time and then push comes to shove and new games release and they just don't get the player base that they were expecting a good example of game a game that released did really well <coughs> but originally didn't get the player base it was expecting was final fantasy 16 <clears throat> It didn't sell the amount of copies it thought it was going to sell. Destiny is another good example. The Destiny treadmill. Uh, Fortnite's not the best example because you can just kind of buy the skins. Ratchet and Clank is super good. Oh, yeah. Ratchet and Clank's really good. I'm taking a six hour flight on Saturday. My cue right now is Horizon, Sea of Stars, Fallout 4, because the new show. Or Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank is really good. Uh, really good. I, I'm a really big Ratchet and Clank fan. I've been a Ratchet and Clank fan for years, so I'm huge on that. What I want to know from you guys, let me know in the chat. It's subscriber only chat because I don't want to deal with bots, and that's the best way to avoid that. What I want to know is, do you find yourself gravitating to newer games or do you think the new games have become kind of scummy? 
I, I I'm released a video today about subscription model and all this stuff coming out. And I, I am like even more so a believer that the subscription model is really starting to cannibalize gaming. It creates a space in which you don't want to buy anything and you're not investing in anything. And so you end up subscribing to these libraries and trying a little bit here and there. A lot of arguments were made about how like, oh, you don't have to commit to a game. You know, there's something pretty special about committing to a game and being able to have a definitive like whether you like it or not. I know that it's expensive now to do such a thing, but it was expensive back then. I would like I'm so quick to be like, yo, I'm out. I don't like this game. And people are like, you need to give it 10 hours before. Like, you know, like, for instance, Elden Ring, which I'm replaying right now on the PlayStation 5. I cast it aside. I didn't like it. It was too hard for me. I got better at video games and coming back to it. And I'm like, I was just an idiot. Now I bought bought that game full price. Since I've become a dad, I'm all about the value. Older games are so much more affordable. It's true, Ryan. And let's be honest, older games are void are free of some of the nonsense that's getting slammed into video games nowadays. The stories, the politics in some ways. <coughs> I just want a game that tells a fantasy story. The world is so messed up as is. I want a game that kind of gives me a, a little bit of a new light to it i think the real problem today it's the way games and consoles are being put to the world years ago years ago ps3 and a lot of new games and good games now is only remastered versions life services look at cinema dude that's what we're seeing in cinema they're just redoing stuff all the, you know are we finally at the point where all the good has been made I don't know, because Sea of Stars is pretty special, I would say. Sea of Stars is a perfect example of drawing inspiration from what was good and creating something special. It's a perfect mixture between the mechanics of Super Mario RPG and Chrono Trigger story. It's really good. <clears throat> Star Wars Outlaw is crazy. The pricing is outrageous. Dude, Star Wars Outlaw is criminal. See what I did there, dude? Hey, become a dad, $4.99, you know, join, join the dads. What I want to know is how many dads are we going to get tonight? Are we going to get to 50? Do we have two more dads in the midst? Are we going to get that? <coughs> Gosh, dang, dude, that hurts. <clears throat> the, the pricing structure of Star Wars Outlaw is so ridiculous. It's crazy. <laughs> I did some more digging. Let's talk about that, dude. My voice is going to be so destroyed. Um, what am I looking up here? Ubisoft Premium? You got to see this. You guys got to see this. This is freaking... It is gross. This is gross. I was doing some digging, boys and girls. <coughs> Excuse me. This is going to be a fight today, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a fight. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready? Is it this one? Of course. Of course. It is this one. Display. Uh, wait, was it that one? Ooh, wrong one. Yeah, it is this one. Hold on. Let me let me get it going. Uh, window application capture. That's the one. Okay. Here we go. Let's go right there okay so check it out so we have ubisoft plus premium right this is this is where it starts to get real weird okay this is where it gets real weird so let's go to let's do this let's go to star wars because this is really oh hey look look at it look at it dude right right off the rip here it is dude, so crazy. okay so check it out so we have comparisons okay boom base game Pre-order bonus. What's that? Cosmetic pack for your speeder. Cosmetic pack for the trail bit. So, okay. There's there's that. Okay. Off the rip. There's that. Okay. Boom. Now, let's continue on. Gold edition. 40 extra dollars. You get the season pass. 
which is the season pass going to be $40? I don't know. Two DLCs. That's it. Chances are the season pass is going to have a second season pass, which is not going to be additional content for season pass. It's going to be season pass two, which is ridiculous that they do that, but whatever. Okay. And then this is where you start to get three days before the official launch date. Lame. This is the official launch date. Okay. Who we, who we, like, who we fooling? This is the official launch date. Okay. Now we get into $130. $20 extra. What do you get? You get the Rogue Infiltrator bundle, which is what? Including cosmetics. Cosmetics. Sabak bundle. What's that? Uh, cosmetics for Kay and her blaster. <clears throat> and a digital art book. Cool. Okay. This is where it gets real weird. Ultimate edition three days early. Two upcomings. This is the DLC. It's cool. This is the pre-order bonus. A little bit of uh, something in there. Okay. Cool. I don't know what to expect with this game. I do not know what to expect with this game. But let's. This is this is where it gets crazy. Look what happens when we do this. Let's go to Ubisoft Premium. <clears throat> Ubisoft Plus. Okay. Let's hit join now. View all. So this is this is the thing that blew my mind. Okay. Watch. First, $8 a month. This is what's included in your PlayStation Plus membership if you get PlayStation Plus Premium, okay? Yo, what's up, Michael? What's up? What do we got here? I'm missing some, some stuff over here. Hold on. Let's do this. Okay, back over here. Uh, contrary to popular opinion, I like subservice. Brian, that's totally cool. Are we expecting anything else from Ubisoft? How's it going? 134 Gamers Wild. Discord link invalid. Discord link is only available. Uh, that link will only allow you in if you're a channel member. Gotta be a dad. Gotta be a dad. Which is the name of the channel memberships. So you don't actually have to be a dad. But it's the cheapest way to become a dad. It's $4.99 a month. Uh, what's up? Black. First stream I've been able to watch. Big fan. Thanks, dude of your YouTube cups. Thanks, dude. Okay, so back to what I'm saying. So this is what we get on PlayStation Plus, right, or whatever it's included. And then this is what's kind of crazy, okay? So we get play 100 plus, P, and we'll look at the, what that includes in a second. 100 plus games on PC with Ubisoft Connect. Cool, awesome. New releases day one and early access when available. Oh, sound familiar? Game Pass Ultimate. Okay, cool. Awesome. Day one releases. We're trying to do something here. More play with premium additions. Now, this is the thing that I was like, this is kind of crazy. They're actually trying to sell this by saying you're going to get the premium edition of games. You're getting the premium edition of games. My concern, and I don't know because I, I I don't know, is what happens if I get the premium premium edition of Outlaw, and then I decide ah, I don't want to do it, and then later down the road I buy it for $19.99 because it's inevitably going to be on sale for 80% off because it's an Ubisoft title. Shots fired. What happens then? Do I still have all my premium content? Do I still have all my skins? Or does that get yanked out of my save file because I don't subscribe to Ubisoft Plus anymore? What happens to my save file? <coughs> that's kind of, that's crazy, right? Okay. Back to it. That's what I thought was pretty wild. I'm like, this is insane. We are able to get the premium version of these games. Where's my mouse? Here. There we go. Okay, we're good. Unique monthly rewards. No clue what that is. More. Oh, Michael Bargo, one of my... Dude, thanks, dude. Huge, huge super chat from Michael. $20 suit. Thank you so much, dude. Holy smokes. Thank you. Your third super chat. Holy cow. 
this guy, dude, coming in. That, dude, that's that's grocery money, baby. That's why I stream at night instead of going to bed. Trying to make that grocery money. <clears throat> Let's finish this up. I was distracted by Michael Bargo, an OG. Incredible. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. One of the dads. So this is the thing. And this is going to cause the controversy or whatever. Let's talk about it. Premium allows you to play games both on PC and Xbox, but not on PlayStation 5. This is a interesting partnership with Xbox. Does that all of a sudden, ooh, we got a new dad in the mix. Doesn't change the dads unless it's going to be late to the thing. Maybe it will change how many dads we have here because now we're at 49. Welcome, Ryan Francis. Welcome to dad. You are one of us. Look at us, huh? <clears throat> I didn't change it. I don't know how to do this stuff, dude. I don't know how to do this stuff. Asher's dad. How meta. Thanks, dude. Thanks, Ryan, for joining. Okay, back to this. Um... This is just going to be with Cloud, or with Luna, whatever. So let's check out what games you get. <clears throat> this is what you're getting. You're going to get Valiant Hearts, Skull and Bones, Prince of Power, all of these games. These are, this is what you have access to. If I was to like pick a few that I'd be like, hmm, that's kind of interesting. I'd say Valiant Hearts always looked interesting to me. So that's maybe one of those. <clears throat> Prince of Persia, Deluxe Edition. Okay. Mirage seems good. Avatar, I don't care. Rayman, a great game back in the day, if I'm being honest with you, but whatever. Far Cry, don't care about that franchise. J Jaleel, playing catch up with cups, but I'm happy to catch a stream. Dude, thank you with a $20 super chat. Thanks a ton, dude. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Huge thank you. Dude, I'm going to be able to buy groceries next week. You guys coming in strong. So you guys like the night streams. It seems to be working well. Okay, let's continue on. Thank you. The huge, huge thank you, Jaleel. All of this means a ton to me, guys. I, I struggle pretty, <clears throat> pretty frequently with if what I'm doing is really worth the investment. It's it's challenging in a lot of ways because this is like this year of, well, this past three years has been all just me really pouring into this as much as I can. This isn't all I do. Again, like I don't sit and play video games all day. That's not what I do. I wish I did. I wish I played video games. I play video games 25 to 30 minutes before bed, just like every single one of you. Most of you play more video games than I do. The potential facade that this may create, which is I hope I can debunk, is I don't get to do the whole like, I play video games all day. My goal with what's happening here is to unite a gamer community, one, but two, to reach out to as many other people like me. Someone in their mid thirties, who's got kids, who's just trying to make it work. It's like, really, that's all it is. It's like, yo, I'm, I'm willing to be public about it. I'm willing to be transparent about it. I'm willing to be like, I had a bad day. I yelled at my kids today. My son was crying. I didn't want to pick him up because I just was so overwhelmed. Like, I'm willing to say these things. I struggle. I struggle with these things. But I do that so that other dads out there can be like, oh, I'm not alone. I, I'm not alone in this. And the language I speak is video games. It's manga. It's coffee, right? And so when you guys do stuff like this, the super chats, becoming dads and the memberships, it helps me realize that there, this is meaningful to some people. But thank you. Thank you for doing those kind of things. It really means a ton because I struggle so much with self-doubt in this space because i'm 
investing in something that I'm hoping works. It, I'm super upside down when it comes to my financial investment in this, but I believe so strongly that what we're doing is gonna make a difference that I'm willing to kind of like give it a little bit more time. But thank you guys, it's, it means a ton. It means a ton. Asher says, Asher says, it's probably gonna get hate for this, but I'm uninstalling Helldivers too. Love it, but it's not conducive to the dad life. You have to commit, and I just can't do that at my fam. Asher, here's the deal, dude. I, I feel the same. I feel the same. I love it. I have a lot of fun with it, but a 40-minute game session that can't be interrupted, I can't do that. I just can't do that. So I get it in when I can, but I can't. I just can't commit to uninterrupted gaming. There's nothing I can play that I can commit to uninterrupted gaming. When I used to play Fortnite regularly, I can't tell you how many times I'd be like hiding underneath the staircase, hoping for the best and often come back and I'd already be eliminated. <clears throat> As a young dad, you're a huge inspiration. Oh, thanks, dude. Uh, as your dad that's why i haven't taken the plunge i don't have a regular time where i can game make it hard to coordinate with others yeah i think how divers looks so much fun it's incredible fun 40 minute game session so yeah when you drop on to super earth to do whatever you're supposed to be doing it's like on average between like 25 and 40 minutes is what your is the thing and it's very very engaged gaming you can't there's no rest there's always hordes coming at you and so it's very fun gaming and you're communicating with your team and it's super, super fun. Highly recommend playing with friends, not randoms because you can get kicked. It's annoying. People are just kind of toxic in some ways. Happened to me. I played for 35 minutes, got kicked, lost everything. Don't know why. I was doing fine. I was actually the leader. Uh, well, I was the d damage leader or kill leader or whatever. So <clears throat> anyway, what I'm trying to say is... Uh, I, I just there's no a game that requires prolonged seat time that I can't get interrupted is just not is not possible for me. I could maybe do that earlier in the morning, but I don't have friends up at 5 a.m. The VR gamer 41, seven year old boy with severe autism. Same day you feel so alone. Some days you feel so alone, dude. Today was one of those days. I'm not gonna lie to you. Home with both the kids. I've been under the weather. They're under the weather. My daughter's a little bit moody, right? She's coming out of being sick. My son, similar, okay? He's 10 months old. I had moments he woke up from his nap. I just let him sit for a while, probably 15 minutes. Got the monitor on. He's safe. I just didn't want to pick him up. I couldn't do it. I was sitting there on the couch with my hands and my, my head in my hands being like, I can't do this. I just can't do this. This is so tough. I have those days sometimes. Today was one of those days. It's the very reason why I'm here today at this point is because I wanted to stream. I wanted to feel human a little bit. I've been talking with a three and a half year old and a 10 month year old, you know, a 10 month old all day. And this allows me to play video games and not feel guilty. If we even get to it, we end up talking quite a bit. My streams in the mornings, I liked it. It was cool, but this is really the better time slot because it allows me to like wind down. My mornings are hyper productive and the, the streaming in the morning I thought was gonna be a good spot. It just doesn't work as well for me. This is a little bit better. So this is like, and then also if I'm being honest, because of financially where we're at, if I can potentially make a couple bucks playing video games, might as well do it on stream. I don't mind talking at the same time. So There you go. Video games have helped me stop drinking alcohol. I love being a sober dad. Oh, dude, for sure. Hey, I fully there with you, Carlos. I'm a sober man myself. Not because I have I struggled with alcohol. I want to like I have to say that, but because I've chosen to be a sober man. I don't do I don't do anything. None. Zero. Zilch. No alcohol, no drug, nothing. Everyone's all about microdosing. I'm about health and wellness. Some would argue that they're in the same vein. I don't. I think that proper hydration and good diet can uh, make up for a lot of stuff that microdosing might, you might think it's helping you with. <laughs> might catch flack for that. Don't care. 
And God gave us everything we need right here in food form. Medicine's also very important too. <laughs> medicine's very good. But med medicating isn't. Hurts your poor little tummy. Oh, dude, it does, dude. It really does. I do like half a Coors heavy. I used to drink them all the time. Used to have half a Coors and I can't even do it. Can't even do it. My tum tum gets so upset. It's the curse of eating so healthy all the time. 80% of my game sessions when everyone's already in bed get inter interrupted by a crying toddler. Dude, there it is, Bubby, baby. Bubby. <laughs> Bubba. A year ago, my group of friends that are husbands and dads agreed on one night we would all get on and play online. This helps set the expectation and keeps our better halves happy. Started in 2007. That's awesome, dude. That's super sick. That's a great that's a great idea. I, I do this a similar thing, but it's not with games, to be honest with you. It's getting out. So the gaming for me is kind of a personal. I play video games with other people, but like to be honest, it's a personal thing. Hey, Ephrath. Welcome, new dad, second dad in the house. We got two dads today. We're at 50. It's not changing the dad number, so I'm just gonna manually say it's 50. I'm gonna actually get rid of get rid of this because for some reason it's not working. So 50, we're at 50 dads. It's 3 a.m. VR. Oh, you're in the thick of it, aren't you, VR gamer? Are you actually a VR gamer? <laughs> right there with you. I might have an hour on the weekends when the kids are napping, but that's rare. <sighs> yeah. 38, deck daddy of four, between 10 and 16. It's hardest when they're young, but as they grow, so do the problems. But you get better and grow too. Keep your head up, brother. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Hola, Wampa. Hurt your poor little tummy head does, dude. Put some testing on it. Papa has entered the chat. There he is. Eat stuff. Do you guys actually... Do you guys actually eating while playing? No. I eat when I... I eat during dinner. I'm not a snacker. Well, I am a snacker. I don't allow myself to. My oldest went through those nightmares. Waking up in the middle of the night to your child screaming is terrible. Yeah. 50 days... That's a gaggle. 50 dads. Oh, 50 dads. Tyler started having nightmares so late nights. It's just asking for a hard time. 75 would be a horde. Oh, let's get to a horde of dads, dude. We got 50. What's up, you big old handsome man? <laughs> okay. Let me emphasize old. Okay, cool. Chat, can we just take a second to honor? Okay. You're here for like, what, 15 seconds and you're just gonna attack me so personally, so quickly. That's just ridiculous. Sandops is in here for literally four seconds and he's just, hey, what's up, old fart? Clearly not talking to me when you say old. Uh, well, yeah, if we're gonna be honest, Wampa's the eldest. My son is allergic to sleeping, so I'm always... <laughs> that's... That's... <coughs> that's a good one, dude. That's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> so I'm always on the game, and my wife's ankle is out. So... F fam is on my... Oh, her ankle. Okay, I get it. I get it. The actual ankle is out. I was going to say something about age, but I left it to Papa Wampa. Sleep allergy is the worst. I will say that I'm fortunate. My kids do sleep at night. Um, well, we moved We moved my son into um, my daughter's room because we're like, we're just going to do it. Right? We pulled it. We definitely pulled the trigger on that greatest decision that we've ever made oh my gosh i'm so happy we did it <laughs> because my daughter will sleep through the 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 crying 
I can't, but she will. And so I'm actually getting some sleep at night, which is awesome. It's just the day in and day out that's been kind of brutal. I'm going to say it. I'm just going to say it. I believe very, very strongly in this. And if people get mad, people get mad. Men and women, and that's all I'm going to say. Men and women both were designed very differently. Though both can technically do both jobs, both cannot do both roles, if that makes sense. And I know there are circumstances in which some people have to take on both roles because it's, ex it's exceptional circumstances. It's fine. That it doesn't change the fact that both men and women can do both jobs, but they certainly are not designed to be both roles. And for me to be in the nurturing role for my day in and day out every day of the week, for the most part, except the weekends, I am definitely not in the right role. <clears throat> I can do it because I believe men were designed to bear immense amount of weight, both physically and mentally. That's our, that's the way we were designed. And so I can technically do it, but the toll it has on me is two to three times as harder as it would for my wife, because my wife is designed to nurture That's what women are designed to do. Again, I will die on that hill. You think that, you know, I, strongly believe that women are designed to nurture and men are designed to work. That's how it is. And work, I just mean like chop wood, like just create grunt work, right? And so that is very challenging for me. Very tough to be in the nurturing role all day. <laughs> well, my wife comes home from work around six. So she takes over at six graciously. After her long day at work, she takes over. But yeah, that is, I believe, probably any advice to new dads out there, stay at work. Just keep working very, very hard. The stay at home dad thing is not going to go well. Well, the solo stay at home dad thing, it's just not going to go well. You were not designed to do it. You were not designed to do it. It will be fun for a little bit, but very quickly it will not be fun. <laughs> My oldest, three and a half, sleeps through everything, too. I feel very lucky. Yeah. We moved our kids out of our room by six months. It was ten months for me, for her, him, and it's fine. Whatever. My wife was sad about it because she likes holding him in the middle of the night. That's totally cool. I was not sad about it because I don't care to hold him in the middle of the night. just want to say I know what you mean about talking to adults to feel human sometimes have a nonverbal autistic son and it's not easy you got the deck daddy secret for you though i appreciate it dude i'm gonna be honest the deck daddies have done a lot for me and if you're a deck daddy you know you're just one of the people in the discord you've changed my life it still doesn't replace person like in-person relationships or on the phone relationships with friends and that's hard to come by still it's tough the, the part that's really really challenging is there's a lot of mommy groups out there but there's not a lot of daddy groups and especially in 2024 some bearded all in dressed in all black dad with like one tattoo on his arm or whatever going up to a bunch of women society's doing a really good job conditioning that i'm not the right guy to do that and so unfortunately it's not the easiest so the bummer thing is I don't get to talk to people. And when I do, <laughs> they're talking about stuff that like I can't relate to. All the moms are talking about their pregnancy stories. And I'm like, my wife was pregnant. Or the saddest part, the part that really affects me a lot is my daughter doesn't get to play with other kids because I'm the, you know, the dad at the park, the moms that don't want to talk to because it's just a guy you know what i mean people with good sleepers are the blessed ones yes they are 
I'm pretty sure my daughter could sleep through a shelling. <laughs> yeah. My daughter too. We have to wake her up often. We moved our son out of our room when he turned one. We were originally going to wait till one, but I said, I, I'm just going to try it. So we tried it. Bro, I totally can relate with you. I'm trying to play both role and struggling a big part, especially when my wife is working every weekend. Anthony, it's going to be a struggle. You as a man were designed to carry, as I said, an immense amount of weight, which means you you should be willing to do all jobs. But the wear and tear on you is going to be ex exponential because the job that you're taking on is one that you're not designed to do. It's tough. It's tough. You'll, you'll do a great job because you'll give it your all. You'll do a wonderful job, but the wear is just more. It's just more. That's just kind of the way it is. You're just going to be, it's just going to be more wear and tear. <clears throat> with newborn, it's tough to get out and socialize with my boys. Deck Daddy Discord has been helpful. Oh, for sure, dude. Same at home dad was going pretty swimmingly for me when baby three came he flipped everything working through one day at a time yeah it gets a little easier over time but it's still rough at times like I was saying we weren't designed for the nurture role we weren't nothing society can tell you is is that you know there's we are not equal men and women are not equal at all we are both designed to do very very separate and complementary jobs we're not designed the same that'd be a waste of resources <laughs> right? I'm religious, right? So I believe that God designed and God created everything. But what a waste of resources would it be if the only thing that was different different between the two of us was a wiener? <laughs> like, one's got something, one's got a hole for it. Like, that'd be that. What a waste of resources! That just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But yes, we were not designed to do it. We can do it. <clears throat> I did it for two years. Way, uh, way of the house husband. But I was 19 to 21 and thought it was COD time. But it was more than that. COD time? Like Call of Duty time? <sighs> we have some fun in the Discord, that's for sure. <laughs> You're right, though. It's not a good replacement for person. No, it's just not. I'm going to assume that isn't orange Fanta in Julian's bottle. Nah, dude. It's pee. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, it's green tea. I don't drink pop. Um, it's some Metamucil. And, oh, you jack wagon, dude. These young whippers, whippersnappers. I'm going to assume. Okay. For the old guy, Jared Hall. Just want to say I appreciate your video. Thanks, dude. I have this community around. I always thought I am not doing enough. Glad to hear some struggles around to do it. Trust me, we all struggle. He's too handsome. I got my shots and <laughs> you pre-workout. Yeah, dude. Nah, dude. No caffeine after like two to help with the circadian rhythm, baby. Been a work from home dad since September. It's hard as urge. I learned though bills got to be paid and kids got to be raised. That's it, dude. That's why I'm here. I'm not going to pay someone else to raise my kids. I am going to do the best I can. Some days I do well. Other days I don't do well. Today, the best I did was kept them safe, kept them fed. And kept them healthy. But I don't think that I was the nicest. And I'm going to admit that. Today was not a nice dad day. I was pretty short tempered. I don't appreciate that I was just hit with an AARP ad by YouTube. <laughs> We just got to be dudes and dads and at the end of the day. Some days more dad than dude and other days more dude than dad. Yeah, that's true. 
That's true. I, honestly, you just got to get through it. Some days are good. Some days aren't good. Days like today, I'm excited to be here. Playing, talking with you, other dads out there. Got some new dads in the chat. We're like 50, 50, 51 maybe. It happens, man. We can't be smiles and sunshine all day, every day. It's true, man. Well, that's just your opinion, man. Dude, that movie is so good. It's That's a really good movie. Today has been a rough day. I need this. Thank you for streaming tonight. No problem, Dylan. No problem, buddy. <clears throat> I felt compelled to stream today. So maybe, you know, maybe God was telling me something. Maybe he's like, yo, dude, some other dads out there just need to know that you had a bad day so that they can feel better about their day. If that's what this is, then hey, praise God. Unicorns and rainbows and milkshakes exist, but not every day. <laughs> we don't drink milkshakes in this house. I named my dog after the dude, if you were wondering if I like that movie or not. Jake, you are someone who just... Do you like to see these skies out, thighs out, dude? Look at that. Oh. You're someone who I think that one day we got to meet. Because, like, aside from the tree-hugging nonsense that you get yourself into, uh, you got, like, you, you have exactly every, you, everything you are is everything we all are. You love the dude, which who doesn't? It's a great move. Big Lebowski's awesome. You're a huge fan of wrestling from the 90s era in the 2000s. Incredible. You just waste so much energy trying to save all those trees, dude. Burn them down, dude. Burn them down. <laughs> JD's old enough to see any, see it? I don't even know what that means, dude. I have a five-year-old son and a daughter on the way. My wife and I studied studied ceramics in college and have found some of our best family time has been working with clay together. That's incredible, Ryan. Do you have a website where I can get some ceramics? I love ceramics so much. Getting some love on the stream. If we do meet up, we have to leave religion and politics at the door. I don't know if I can do that. No, I'm just joking. We'll leave it on. We'll leave it at the door as much as we leave it at the door at discord, dude. Dude, yeah, dude. <laughs> Just be Macho Man promo the whole time. Cream of the crop. Can we, dude, can we watch that? I don't want random people raising my kids, so I run a business from home and I'm hoping to watch my daughter when my wife goes back to work. It'll be hard, I'm sure, but I'm excited to make it work. Yeah, dude. You'll do it. You'll do great. Someone say wrestling. Let's just watch one of the great wrestling promo, greatest wrestling promos of all time. Okay. I don't even care if I get these. Uh, this is the, if not, this is one of the, if not the best. This is, I kid you not. Okay. This is one of the best wrestling promos of all time. Okay. Let me pause the music. Oh, dude. Thank you. WrestleMania 3 at the Silver Dome in Pontiac, Michigan. It's a day that I'm certain my guests at this time will not forget. I'm talking about the former Intercontinental Champion of the World, Macho Man nothing Randy. Nothing means nothing. Nothing oh. means nothing. <laughs> this is the best. This is the best, absolute best of all time. <laughs> Justifiably in a position that I'd rather not be in, but the cream. Oh my gosh. And President Jack Tunney thinks that I got here. He's a magician. He's a magician, ladies and gentlemen. Let me say it out loud. And let me point to the president of the World Wrestling Federation. 
racist, the macho man Randy Savage is not Here it is. With your decision. Here, Here it is. Hey, Another hey, one. In the World Wrestling Federation. <laughs> and there is no doubt about it. Yeah, you Another know. one. You know that I'm <laughs> yeah. the cream of the crop. <laughs> Why does he have so, so many creamers? Do you blame Mr. Jack Tunney, <laughs> the distinguished president of the World Wrestling Federation? <laughs> he has so many creamers. Today? It's the best yeah. thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the pinky out. Living in a nightmare. Oh. I am the cream. And now, not only the Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship belt must fall, but the World Heavyweight Championship belt. Because <laughs> Hulk Hogan is here. I am the cream. Another cream. I am the cream. And there is no one that does it better than the Savage. I am the Oh, I'm sweating. Where's he going? Dude, where's he going, man? Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. Nothing is going to stop me. Nothing's going to stop me. You know, just out of curiosity, Randy, I certainly don't want to diminish your... Just another creamer. But I'm very curious. I haven't seen Elizabeth lately. She's on the outside of the ring. My back hurts. Nothing zero, yeah. Pure <laughs> the pinky dude. Yeah, I'm aligned from the top to the bottom. Oh. Because they can't handle the macho man Randy Savage. The cream of the cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh. It's so funny. Sarasota, Florida. Every. Come on in. You're going to be defending against the dragon. Every single time, dude. It's just the cream. He keeps bringing another cream out. That it just kills me. It kills me. Oh. Oh. I need a second to recover from that. That was that was. Oh. That was so good. I needed that laugh. Looking to make more work, but trying to balance family life providing. This promo is the cream of the crop. Dude, this is the cream of the crop, baby. I'm sure I know the same wrestlers as you. Yours were wearing bowler hats. <laughs> Getting into fisticuffs. <laughs> they still are, dude. 90s WWF is so good. Dude, it was so good. Dude, WWF versus NWO. Remember those days? Hell yeah, brother. Hades Wrestling was on it. Dude, it was... The promos were so good, dude. The creamers. There's so many creamers. Ephrath. Coke-filled madness. Dude, that guy... Every, there's so much Coke running through that, man. And I'm not talking about Coca-Cola. Uh, Brad. I appreciate you opening up about your autistic son. My son also has autism. was nonverbal until he was two. Are you, Brad, are you talking about someone else in chat? I don't want to be mistaken. My, uh, at least not that we know of. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm pretty certain. Seems like developmentally he's on the path of a child who does not have autism. But who knows, right? He's 10 months old. Sunglasses take up his whole head. Yeah, dude. Those sun, I have those sunglasses. I have those sunglasses. Um, I just saw the, you know, he just saw those in a catering saying I could build a, there. Oh yeah. Uh, those are Apple vision inspiration. That's exactly it. Wampa. That's it. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> yeah, man. And he really, uh, did it to the fullest extent. Dowling. How is that guy in the suit? Keep a straight face. Well, dude, he had to interview all of them. Macho Man was pretty crazy, but he's not the craziest out of all of them. There was so many out there. Uh, how's that go? Yeah. Cocaine, roids, heavy-duty painkillers is what made the 80s wrestling special. Yeah, dude. They'd break bones and wouldn't even feel it. Mean Gene was absolute unit of professional. Andy, dancing troll walks in. <laughs> Andy, you've been around for a while, man. I love it. Thanks for the 499, man. Thank you. You guys, uh, we're at 51. $51.27 tonight, guys. Thank you. 
YouTube takes a little bit of that, but my chat revenue is fifty one twenty seven. A, a great means means a ton. Dude must have a fanny pack filled with creamer. What a legend! Why are his eyes so red? Mine? From laughing and rubbing my eyes? I read that in Rick James' voice. Oh. Why have kids not given them every? Why have kids to not give them everything? Work will replace your child. Won't. Provide, give stability, and raise good humans. Yeah. Mean Gene is professionals professionally. <laughs> what year was that? Eighty-seven. Uh, I don't know. 87? 87. It says 87. Yep, 87. We got to get into some Ultimate Warrior Madness. Dude, Ultimate Warrior. Those are the promos. Those are crazy promos. Was that during the Great Depression? The, the promo? His promos were out of this world. Yeah. That guy was deaf, juiced, and... Oh, yeah, dude. He's on another level, man. On another level. Anyway, I just want to say I've watched a lot of your vids. I'm a gamer dad of two kids, and it's so hard with my anxiety to balance my hobbies and parenting. With your vids, it makes me learn to cope with both. Hey, Stats, I, um, I, have, I have also... I, too, also struggle with anxiety pretty heavily. Something that... I have had to deal with my whole life. I'm not someone who's going to come out here and be like, I have diagnosed anxiety, diagnosed depression, diagnosed this, this disorder, this, this, this. I hate, I don't say hate often. I hate when people list all of their different issues because what they're doing is they're defining themselves by their problems. And that's ridiculous. Oh, thank you, Efrath, for the ten dollars. Thank you so much. Is that Canadian? So for the ninety-nine cents, <laughs> you guys, this dollar doesn't. I'm just joking, dude. Take a joke. Take a joke. Anyway, I hate when people define themselves as their their things. You see people say it all the time. It's like, oh, because everyone's all aware of their mental health. Great, be aware. I'm very self-aware of that kind of stuff. I understand. But when you come out to the are like, oh, I have diagnosed, and then you just laundry list it, it's personal, this, that, that. You're defining yourself by your disorders. It's ridiculous. Let's change it a little bit, right? None of you guys are doing this. But me, to say to you, stats, um, I struggle with anxiety pretty heavily as well for years took medication for it at one point because it was that bad in the more late more some of the more recent years i have had some uh, evenings which my anxiety got the best of me and i've had to result i'd have to resort to some of my different coping things i do rituals whatever it may be <clears throat> and so uh yeah i am the same boat as you man just trying to figure it out day by day moment by moment Video games are part of my, one of my coping rituals, which I call it that, is I have a couple games I know that help trigger certain things, and I'm able to come out of some of that more weird, anxious behavior, but I struggle with that too, bud. That's funny, you should wear them in a stream. Wear what? What did I miss, Delian? <laughs> Again, Andy, thank you so much for the 499 super chat again and you too Efra. thank you for the ten dollar super chat um how do you organize space party just trying to call you old i know dude you young whippersnapper you i grew up in randy orton cena and his dude the spinner championship belt was incredible his rap Edge coming up in WWE, then CM Punk, dude. And then there's, of course, Goldberg, too, man. Loved him. Wrong chat. Please post that in the Dad Jokes channel. Anxiety is, dude, it is. It is. If you're someone who struggles with anxiety, I hear you, brother. It's been 
how old? I'm 30. Yeah, it's been almost two decades of me having to deal with different elements of that unfortunate struggle. And it's going to be a lifelong thing. You figure out different ways to cope with some of the different panic attacks and anxiety things that happen. Other ones, you just freaking strap in and ride it out because it's just the best way you go about it. Because at the end of the day, doesn't matter how many anxiety attacks you're having, you still have people to take care of. So you just sometimes got to cook dinner while you're having a full-fledged panic attack. It's just the way, way to do it. With the extra credit dad joke. Yeah, dude. The Canadian demographic is growing. There's a lot of Canadians, I think. We've doubled the amount of people from Toronto. I'm 31 millennial parents, and your vids are awesome. Thank you. I won't stop watching because it does make me feel better about myself. It helps me little by little to be a better parent despite my issues. Hey, dude, we are all carrying baggage. All of us. I did this exercise in the um, in the Discord, the, the Dad Discord, right? Dad is the name of the channel memberships. So if you want to join the Discord, you have to be a channel member. I'm doing that because there was a time where I had a massive influx and it scared me. Anyway, I asked everyone to name some insecurities they have just to be open about it. And I couldn't keep up. Everyone's got something. We all have something. All of us. So you're not alone in that, buddy. 31 millennial parent say less dude you just like those the, all that right there just locked in a full plate a full plate of anxiety it's fine it's okay you're allowed to be anxious you're allowed to be it's part of it you just figure out how to do it what you're not allowed to be is in denial Video games are such a fantastic coping mechanism. They are. They can be. I've been to Toronto many times for work. Does that count? Hey, you Toronto f people. Oh, the rest of sunglasses? Okay. Whoa, Ed. <laughs> I'm still celebrating my 67th birthday. <laughs> Ed Star dropping a hundred dollars. Ed, what's up, man? Ed is—he's been a part of the channel for a very long time. Holy smokes, Ed! Thank you so much, man. Whew. All right. Well, there's my grocery money for the week. I'm good. I got my groceries. We're at 158 of revenue. Thank you so much, Ed. Appreciate it, buddy. Whoa. Groceries are covered. We're good. Thank you so much, Ed. Whew. That's big. That's big. Happy 67th birthday to Ed Star. The true, the true star. He's he's actually been a part of the channel for a long time. He's in the yeah, he's he's been around for a while. <clears throat> uh Brandon, a screaming toddler will bring out every flaw you have. There's no exact book on your specific journey. It's absolutely true. That was today for me, dude. Andy, I messed with you, but I always got your back. Are you talking to me? Pop Punk Nerd, what's your favorite wrestling video game? I never got into wrestling video games personally. Brandon, we got this. Stats, don't stop making them, dude. I do my best. Some days I just need a break and I'll skip a day, but I'll do my best. I stood in line with my brand new copy of Link to the Past at Sears. I'm old too. WCW versus NW, Revenge for the N64. Ooh, that's a good one. I did play some at Friends House, but I never owned one. I wasn't into it. I think we have a whole six Canadians in the Discord now. So look at Ed Starr's thing. He's been a channel member since the very beginning. Same with, uh, same with chase or stand ups he has the little cup that's the black the black cracked cup oh geez baby i'm canadian from montreal cool boy so you speak french julian's videos and this community have helped this old dad so much i'm appreciate that man 
Revenge on the N64 was the best. Anxiety kicks you right in the ball sometimes. You just got to breathe in and out and hold on. That's honestly the best you can do. When you get in the P.O. box, I have a P.O. box. I got one. I haven't been in Quebec proper, but I've driven by. Again, huge shout out to Ed Starr. Thank you so much, Ed. Um, the P.O. box should be listed in the uh, channel's uh, community not or info page. I misread it first time. I'm 50% Canadian. You are, dude. You are. He drunk. Groceries are covered for sure now. Oh, what a tip. Dang, good on you, Ed. Yeah, dude. Ed just bought you a freezer full of hamburgers. That's right, man. Dang, not bad for an hour's work. Happy birthday. Thanks, everyone. Uh, as long as it's the good half, the bottom half for him. Yes, sir. When I poked at you about Discord earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. You do. We want you there, dude. Andy, we want you there. It's the hardest when your toddler screams dad, 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 dad over and over. It is. Yes, it is. 150 will get you a box of applesauce to go and some bloobs. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget stovetop stuff. <clears throat> just for you ed we're uh we're the kind of family that makes everything from scratch so they won't sh yeah dude dad slash dad is still my favorite word though what do you mean Hey, you guys talk to each other. I need to go get um, some honey and lemon juice for this hot honey and lemon juice. All right, I'm back. 
I have a really terrible hamstring cramp happening right now, which is very, very par for the course after a heavy deadlift day. I have a three and seven year old. All right, nice. And they fight a lot too. Yeah, dude. I'll never get tired of being called dad. Are you, are you a dad, Andy? We started making our own bread products. It's been super great. That is awesome, dude. One day you may never hear it again. It's true. Homemade stuffing. Love it. Oh, yeah, dude. We do that for sure, Ed. Later, Andy. <clears throat> Jake's out? Oh, later, Jake. They grow up. That's when, why they, they're recording. There's recording. Yeah. Happy birthday from Wampa. In the end, my guess is these brats will probably put me in a home. <laughs> Probably. No. I hate that ads are about 100% louder than the stream volume. It scares the heck out of me every time. It's like playing Alan Wake 2. I think also my streams are just quiet. But I try to keep it kind of mellow. I'm just trying to have us all kind of chill here. You know? Gosh, I'm cramping so bad. Julian, I have the spring allergies to keep me... Dude, my allergies are crushing me. What's up, Marty? Yo, Marty, is this like Marty? Like, big old buff Marty? I can't see. Can I, can I actually look up this person? It doesn't let me. Like, is this CrossFit Marty? Uh, I'm gonna, okay, later. Oh, yeah, dude. What's up, Marty? You like I was like big buff Marty and you said yes? <laughs> What's up, dude? I made it. You made it. You made it, dude. You're here. You finally made it. Have a spring. Uh, I have spring allergies that keep me. Dude, I live out in the hills. I've never struggled with allergies before. I think the reason why kids are sick was because of that, to be honest. My son fell asleep on me for the first time in months. He wouldn't stop screaming after he suspected a nightmare. Upon realizing I was a nap trapped, he smiled, cried, and just sat there. It's pretty special, dude. The first time I hear my girl call me daddy, I will melt. It's really awesome just to be, make her smile. F Rath, it is. Today, my daughter just looked at me and stopped and goes, Dada, I love you. It was great. It was great. And then she fell apart when I told her that she was just going to have milk instead of chocolate milk. <laughs> so they very quickly changed. <laughs> but hey, that's all a part of the game, dude. It's all a part of it, dude. Glasses is here. What's up, Glasses? You know what that means. Whip out your deck. Everyone whip out their deck and flop it on the table, please. Cheers to that. Why is everything I'm drinking look like pee? Why is that today for me? Like Everything I drink it looks like pee. It looked like pee in this. This looks like pee. This looks like pee. It's steaming, too. I'm not doing well here, guys. We've had it out this whole time. Was I not supposed to? <laughs> oh, sorry. I just, you know, sometimes it's so heavy. Just whipping out the deck, you know what I mean? This is the loadout, by the way. We got the Glock. Did I just turn it on? I accidentally turned on my deck. Whoops. This is the Glock loadout designed by Sandops himself. We got the nice things here. Plot twist. It is P. <laughs> Come on, turn on. I smacked it too hard.
NC 17 plus stream. Whipping out decks. There it goes. Oh. Dad, Dad bod CEO checking in from Discord. Probably got to go soon. About time to put my son to bed. Oh, for sure, dude. All good, man. Aish, what's up, dude? So much deck envy. <laughs> Welcome to Deck Daddies. We all have got massive decks. Oh, this tea actually is this was the right choice thank you for whoever suggested that dude something warm i really really like my deck and wouldn't have gotten it if it wasn't for this channel i'm appreciate it dude i appreciate it i'm glad i could guide you in that direction aish says just got done eating and wanted to come back and hang out for a few thanks aish what's up glasses glasses says we talk in religion on the stream just had a revelation i felt like sharing if it's if not it's cool uh we we don't shy away from religion right i don't come on here and be like hey the word of god says i don't do that but people know where i stand on it if you have something to share that struck you personally and you you feel like you feel like you're growing from it Who am I to stop you? If you got some wisdom to share, great. Not mad at that. I'm all about that. If you have some rebuke to hand out, here's not the place. We're here to share wisdom. Not rebuke. Does that make sense? Look at us. Hey. Hey. Look at us. <laughs> Come on. There we go. You guys want to see this? Just be a better. Just be better than your dad. Kids deserve all... Not sure I understand what you're saying. Guys, ready for a little bit of a sea of sea of stars? This game is so good, dude. Been playing this at night. It's been magnificent. Okay. I do. Today I was driving and thinking about life and how things worked out. And one phrase that came to mind is almost like it was placed there, not thought up by myself. A concept I never considered. Better than your dad. Would you still recommend getting a Switch this year? Just found you and binging content. Thanks, brother. Um... That's a tough one, dude. I love I love my Nintendo Switch. Ah, I like my Nintendo Switch. Love people, not things. And so I'll say that I think that the Nintendo Switch is a great purchase. There are plenty of games to play. Plenty. And they're all like full games, right? Patches done, all that stuff done. So I think the Nint Nintendo Switch is worth it. Now, have you scraped together every penny that you own to get, like, that, that you have to your name to get it? Now, that's a different question. Is it a good investment? Probably not. Is the Nintendo Switch a good long-term investment? Not at this point. Is the Nintendo Switch worth purchasing because of the games? Absolutely. Does that answer your question? <sighs> The phrase is, thank God for the pain. Hey, that's a really good 
uh, phrase. There's a lot that comes out of that. If you guys are Bible readers, go look up Romans 5, verses 1 through 5. It's exactly that. Glasses, go whip, go whip out your Bible. Romans 5, verses 1 through 5. It'll it'll just be exactly that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh. Here we go. Hey, developers in the chat, what does it mean that this is happening? So they have the animation just copy. So like I'll go here and then whip back and go that way. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I need you to hit you. That's not what I needed. You maybe? Not good. I'm so bad at my timing. Ah, I was better. They just mirrored the sprite. Okay. Yes, it does. I have the money. <laughs> Listening while I search for a sleep video. The Switch is one trick pony. Plays Nintendo games with no frills. The deck is fun and exciting. It's a gamer's toy. The Switch is... Yeah, I don't agree with that particularly, but why is my timing off? Okay, just behind. Ooh, he's low. Wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. one there we go drop one skill let's go sunball on him there it is do you see the fallout sale today on steam i didn't i don't really care about fallout personally oh without the dark there wouldn't be any light it's true Um, can I just tell you guys right now, I'm playing this on an 42 in, for, a 42-inch LG C2. It looks so good. From, like, corner to corner, this looks so good. Holy smokes. The Switch is just for games. The deck can be much more if you want it to be. This show is pretty good. Um, yeah, the, I mean, the, the Switch has games that the deck will never be able to play. Well, not never, but the Switch just has a library that is, I think, unparalleled. Personally, personally. Are you deck docked? I am. Which game is this? This is uh, Sea of Stars. The music is so good in this game. Animations are great too. Let's get these little goblins. <laughs> okay, what did that person want? Hammer and uh, let's go with you first. Let's hit you. I missed it. That's unfortunate. I had to do the sunball on that one. He's gonna hit me with his thunder, okay. Oof. Oh, I am not in a good spot. Skill, nourish. One, you eat. 
Sorry guys, late to the show. What game is this? I already read that. Turn emulation on a Switch and it was laggy. Are you using the upscaler dongle between the dock and algae? I am not. Everything is great about the game. It's called like such golden. Yeah, it really is. This game looks fun. It is so good. <clears throat> I think it's on sale right now. Everyone should go pick it up. I make no dollars from this uh, recommendation. Highly recommend picking it up though. Um, we're gonna go ahead and. Oh, Garl. Uh, nope, not good. Yeah, he's down. Oh, but he'll be back in one turn. Okay, Crescent Arc on you. Oh, great. Steam Deck do dock worth it over third-party docks. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with third-party docks. The docked experience of the Steam Deck, honestly, isn't the best on AAA titles. It's really, really good um, for stuff like this, though. P.S. If you want to grow your stream, best to use Twitch. YouTube doesn't have good discovery unless subbed. I just don't like Twitch. I don't have, you know, I don't have massive cleavage. And I am 35 years old, not willing to dance monkey dance for this stream. You know what I mean? So like, I just, I have meaningful conversations and I'm not click, uh, like I don't just scream about politics. I just called out nine streamers, by the way, if you guys are familiar with Twitch right now. By saying everything I just said, not like nine of the top streamers, they just called out by saying all those things. I would love nothing more than to be able to be on Twitch. You know how easy it is to just press start and not have to build up like it's so much easier to be on there. And who knows? Maybe one day I'll go over that. I don't know, but it's just not the same. If YouTube and Twitch were both to invite me to their award show to attend just to watch, I would go to YouTube, not Twitch. Twitch is a bunch of clowns I know that seems aggressive but <clears throat> tomato club baby can I make basic salad why can't I oh, I need herbs Have you thought any more about multi-streaming? Maybe. Very fair indeed. There's always simulcasting as well. Word of mouth will grow your channel. I've been talking. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Twitch might have more discoverability, but YouTube definitely has a more diverse audience that's not 17-year-old Redditors. Yeah, I don't even have a Reddit. I don't even know how to use Reddit. I'm also really bad at making emails. Oh, let's buy something from you. Let's see here. Do I have that? No, I already have that. Ooh, let's get him an adventure's vest. Only 14. Can I sell some stuff off to get... We gotta get Garl cauldron lid dude look at him what can i sell to get garl how much do i need for that buy 24 i need to get 10 more sell basic salad i need these to like recover 
I'm just gonna do it. Let's get Adventure's Vest. Equip now. Garl, baby. Now we're good. I, it's all about Garl. Uh, simulcasting, uh, it's tough because then I have to balance two chats. I don't want to do that. What's up, dude? So I'm so glad we're finally all back together. It feels so good to be with Garl again. Rest. Hey guys, bro, uh, bro, I just want to thank you for your work here. It helps me to find my time and balance for reading, Bible, gaming, and spend time with my one and a half year old daughter right on dude i just finished roofing a house R dang dude yeah youtube just feels a little more sophisticated in my book all right let's go ahead and save we're about to probably get ourselves into something a little special here <clears throat> okay Ooh. How do we do this? Let's go with you attack here. Cool. And then we're going to take skill sunball on there. Should be good. Oh, baby. Wow, dude. Look at us. <clears throat> that was good. That was a good hit. <clears throat> I'm tired of beat, man. I'm so glad you're streaming so I can chill out. Heck yeah, Eric. I get tired of thinking about roofing a house. <laughs> Is there anything over here in this mist? Oh, yeah, right here. Recipe. Is there anything over here? All right, let's back. Yeah, first strike. Um, let's go ahead and let's get Moon Ring on that. That was my best one yet. That's insane. Oh, that's awesome, Eric. That's worth it. That was a sick combo. Attack. Uh, let's hit normal. By the way, I'm getting 120 frames per second right now on this sucker, dude. This looks so awesome on my TV. Okay, I'd rather get rid of this one. This one hits hard. Okay, and then I gotta hit with a sword next. Okay, got that combo out of the way. Gonna have to deal with this combo, which is thunder. That's a hard hit. Uh, we're gonna skill nourish. Ooh, nice. That's great. Uh, let's go ahead and get Valer on this. Good. And then let's go ahead and get skills. I can't. Sun ball. Combo. Solstice strike. That was good. That was good. Mm. <clears throat> is this the laptop in recent? No, this is a Steam Deck. Uh, all deck, all day, dude. 
I haven't really figured out what the best way of streaming the laptop is going to be. Kamea mea, baby. This crescent. No, I guess a little moon meringue at. Alright, here we go. Oh, that was cool. I didn't know you could do that. Man. What happened? No. Did it freeze? Let me see actually if I unplug it. No? Okay, well. Cool. I guess we're gonna have to restart the game. Thankfully, I just. Weird. Loud dad eyes have a hard time tracking that sucker. Stop time attack. Ouch. Yeah, well, it's okay. We weren't that far. <laughs> we were fine. We're in a good spot anyway. Oh, whoa, that's... That's everything. How am I to... I'm gonna have to just drop the power of this, I guess. Oh gosh, tough. Spike shower. Okay, it didn't hit that hard. No, it's never frozen like that on me before. Holy cow, the glass has just gifted five memberships? Holy smokes, we got five new dads in here. Hey, welcome five. Thank you for the five gifted dads. Holy smokes, glass is making five dads happen tonight. I'm gonna tell you right now, that's not something you see every evening. I mean, maybe a dad at night, but not five dads. How exciting for them. Five fathers. Thanks, glasses. Appreciate it, buddy. All right, let's. It was just this fight, right? It's this fight that it froze on. No, it wasn't this fight, but I can. Vulnerable skills. Attack. Pearl. That was kind of cool. Five fathers, dude. Who's your daddy? Uh, we'll actually go Velar Moonerang. Here we go. I just have to hit him three times. One, two, three. There we go. Yeah. It was this fight where you had sick combo. That was not this one, though. This is the fight I just froze at. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do I want to... 
Hmm. Oh, I am low on health. Who do I want to drop? I think I'm going to drop this. It's fine. I don't even have combos for this, so I'm just going to hit this, I guess. Oh, that's not... That's ungood. Ram, who are we ramming? Dropped. Later, Wampa. Oh, gosh. Okay, well... Here we go. It's fine. Don't love that. Got my boys back. Skill. Uh, let's go ahead and get her on it. Attack you. At least drop that thunder down a little bit. How hard is Thunder going to hit? Oh, not that bad. Oh, combo. Let's go. Actually, skills. Let's healing light. No, let's just attack, baby. Uh, we're still good on this. going to... Oh, she can... Okay, so let's... Skills. Let's Moonerang this right here. Oh, it's going to go between the two. That didn't do it. Man, it's close. Ooh, okay. Do I have good... That's super dope. That was so cool. You're gone. That's why it was a cutscene. If oh, maybe not. Oh, this I I hate this. I hate this, dude. Going physical defense on you. Uh, magic attack for sure. Garl. Oh, he's such a tank already. Let's get the MP up. I'm out, brother. See ya. We'll chat tomorrow. All right, later, dude. That's it's such a tough choice with those. Do 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 do. Anything? There should be something. Maybe you come down. There might even be a bad. No. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Fine. Well, uh, I actually don't know if that fence that I dropped. It's just a shortcut. It was. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure I'm not missing out on like a potential cool little thing. You know what I mean? Hey, by the way, uh, Glasses, you're the first person to ever gift. Uh, you're the first person to ever gift memberships. So thank you. Huge shout out to Glasses. Thank you. Mm. All right. Triple. 
and I missed it. Oh man. Uh, it's gonna hit. Who are we ramming? I was able to block it. That's nice. Thanks again, Glass. To see you, buddy. Gone. It's up here. That's obviously the entrance to somewhere. Ooh. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's, there's a cave. Game looks smooth. It's awesome, man. Shortcut. Right? Is this a shortcut? Yep. <coughs> What's in here? What could this be? Obviously not ready for me yet. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Is this a good pickup? I think so. If you're into JRPGs, yeah, absolutely. I think this game is incredible. Also on the deck, it's awesome because you can play it docked mode like I'm playing right now with you guys. And then you can just handheld, which is going to be what I'm going to play when I'm done streaming. Ho, ho, ho. The music is great. Ever touched the Wise series? I haven't, no. Two children of solstice have come for their rite of passage, but I also sense one who does not belong. Is he brave or foolish? Oh, let's find out. Welcome, young adventurers, to this sacred pond. Nice to meet you, Elder Mist. My name is Garl. My, what gregarious one you are. Enthusiasm is certainly welcome in this place of meditation, but it's right are not meant for the common folk. Children of the solstice, step forward. Ho! Ho, ho, ho! It seems you show great potential indeed. Have you weaved your will into celestial fabrics? We have, Elder Mist. Then come closer and let them be imbued by the sacred pond's magic. Okay. Throw your cloths in the water. Zap. Oh, I love the hose, dude. How does that happen? How do I say stuff like that? A tremendous resonance. What type of games do you normally play? Me? This? Good evening. I am a RPG fan. RPG and adventure. So, like, this. Um, what's another one? Tears of the Kingdom, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, that kind of stuff, you know? Those are good examples of what I would like. Does that make sense? Wear them with purpose, for they will augment your innate magic. You shall re henceforth have light in the darkest places and protection against the minions of the flesh monster. Story-driven games all the way. That's me. Story-driven games. I don't feel any different. Yeah, me neither. Oh, rest assured, the ability to use magic without using magic has taken root in you indeed. What does that even mean? How does it work? It rises from need. In the many battles that await you, victory will often demand the use of more offensive magic than one can sustain through spells alone. That's why attunement to live mana is paramount. This is the game mechanic that really is interesting. This is about as far as I got the first time. It allows your attacks to draw from the magic bestowed upon you at birth, and judging by your resonance, you create the power should even extend to your traveling companions. You are ready. Live mana will start manifesting for you the next time you enter a battle. Are you ready for your final test? 
Oh, the mist? I'd like to go with them. Oh, the Elder Mist Trials have never been undertaken by anyone but the aspiring Solstice Warriors. But I want to go with them, please. Interesting. You're the first of the common folk to ever make such a request. He sure is a peculiar one. No doubt limited when it comes to combat, but the warmth of his heart, could he bring it back? Perhaps we should try to find out. I will allow it. All right. Thanks, Elder Mist. Consider it a test of your ability to act as a companion to the Solstice Warriors. I won't fail. We are ready. Then close your eyes and take a deep breath. Garl, man. He's the real MVP in this. And here we go. Welcome to Elder Mist Trials. To pass this final test, you must bring three big relics together by com <laughs> completing the associated challenges. The monsters that will try to stop you are immune to physical attacks. The use of offensive spells are prohibited. What? How then? Oh, that is why you must use magic without using magic. Live mana can boost your battle actions with a portion of your magic attacks. Embrace this power and your training will be complete. All right, cool. The trials await. Let's do it. Magic without magic, eh? This is sweet. There's the mana. Attack did nothing. Spell would probably do it, but we can't use them here. Guess that's the part where using magic without magic comes in. <coughs> but how? Hey, some little orbs appeared when I attack. Maybe that's live mana. Could be. I feel kind of pulled towards them. Yeah, I feel it too. Let me try something. Sick. Whoa. Worked. How does it feel? Like power. So if I attack, it should magic damage now. There we go. There we go, dude. Hey, what's up, dude? Boosting has been unlocked. Regular attacks will now generate live mana. Hold RT. And press A to absorb the charge boost. Up to three boosting charges can be stacked, each adding a portion of your character's magic attack stat to the next action increases the power. In case of regular attacks, the character's innate magic damage, they have one, is also added on top of the weapon's damage type. Whether you are dealing, this great. Just great mechanics, dude. Just incredible mechanics. Let's just set up a little campfire here, shall we? Dude, look at that. Just getting the crunches in. Love it. Love it. Hey, what's up? The Elder Mist Trials after that will officially be Solstice Warriors. Let's see. Can we cook some stuff? Okay, we're going to do berry jam. Basic salad. We need more poultry. rest all right ladies and gentlemen i think that's it for me tonight my voice is going i finished my tea i need to drink some water it's almost nine o'clock so just so you guys know I'm going to play this off stream too. This is definitely not one that I'm just going to be doing on stream. In fact, I'm going to play some right now off stream. I've decided that there's not going to be any games that I just exclusively do on stream. That ruins it for me. Okay. So there's that Two, Huge shout out to Ed star, to all the different people, to uh, glasses for the five gifted subs, the new dads tonight, everyone, huge shout out to all of you. Thank you. You guys really made this worth it for me. Um, made $158 in chat revenue. That's huge. That's huge. That's not, that's, that's helps. S still need a ton to make rent, but we're doing great. This is awesome. You guys have answered prayers tonight. So thanks a ton. I will see you guys in the next stream. I don't know when I'm going to announce it, but it's going to be here. So there's that. Yeah. 
a red mark for my hat. Anyway, you guys are awesome. Thanks a bunch. And uh, a happy evening, a good evening, and a happy streaming to the rest of you. Take it easy. See you guys.